Hey everyone, this is PA Northeastern Rail Fan, and we are here at a railroad, but we're also here to explore this, which is an old covered bridge. So I'm currently at the Stone Gables Estate, which is out in Elizabethtown, and I'm here to see the Harrisburg, Lincoln, and Lancaster Railroad and their operational replica steam locomotive from the 1860s. However, while we're here, I figured we'd do a quick little exploration of this old covered bridge. So if you check out this sign here, it says 1844 Hers Mill Covered Bridge. So it looks like it was restored in 2019 based on this sign. And it looks amazing to be honest with you. So I figured we'd do a little walk through here. We'll start in this side portion. As you guys can see, it's still decorated for Christmas, so we'll do a little walk through here. This is a very beautiful stretch of property they have here. Have big Christmas ornaments here. And this bridge runs over a very little creek, as you can see. And this is right next to the Belmont Station platform, which is part of the railroad here. Alright guys, so now we're here on the other side of the bridge. We just came from the opposite side that you can see looking through the bridge there. And we came through on the footbridge side which is all decorated nicely for Christmas. I'm sure this looks even better lit up at night. However, we won't be here to see that today. But for now, I figured we'd do a walkthrough of the main portion. And just to clarify, this road is currently closed to traffic, so we're not going to be any sort of danger here. Check out this old architecture that they used for the bridge. They have like a arch supporting beam made of hardwood here. And it's all bolted together next to these other support beams. They have some old some starlights. And it seems that they have some starlight decorations connected to it as well. Probably part of the theme of the Star Barn, which is also part of the Stone Gables Estate attraction. It's much nicer sitting in here without all the wind. Alright guys, so as you can see we have a train coming. This is a tourist train for the Harrisburg, Lincoln and Lancaster Railroad. And they're going to pass us here at the covered bridge.
Conductor on. I'll be your conductor and narrator going this trip. I want to thank everyone for coming out today and welcome you to the Stone Gables Estates, home of Ironstone Ranch, the Star Barn Village. This is the vision God placed on Dave and Tierney Abel's hearts, who serve as our caretakers for this property. It consists of 275 acres. We are a faith based facility for wedding venues, special events and family activities. You're currently on a full-scale replica of an 1868 steam locomotive. Locomotives of this era were outfitted with elaborate brass, lettering, and paint. Craftsmen of this time period took great pride in their work, and it definitely shows. You're currently riding on a passenger car from a replica from the mid-1860s. Every detail down to the hardware has been reproduced. The only thing that we have done is electrified the cars. We actually have a generator on board. So these lights would have been oiled back in the day, but we have them electrified. So here on the Harrisburg, Lincoln and Lancaster Railroad, I'd like to take you back in time here. We have about three quarters of a mile of the original railroad bed that traverses through the center of the property that was constructed in 1835. And this portion of the railroad remained in operation until the early 1900s. The large stone on the property here are called Ironstone, hence the name for Ironstone Ranch. And as you see, there will be some stone rows when they cleared the fields back in the day of Ironstone. But what I like to point out is on the left-hand side in the line of travel, if you look out when we pass through here, this is the original cut when they cut through this property. They uh, took the iron stone and cut them by hand and stacked them by hand. This isn't a, a retaining wall that we built. This is a retaining wall that was built back in 1835. There's no mortar in between the joints. They're all dry stacked and hand laid. I always like to point that out to everyone that that is original to the uh, original cut through the property. So on this very railroad bed, April 22nd, 1865, at exactly 12.05 in the afternoon, Abraham Lincoln's funeral procession passed through this very property and on this very railroad bed. So from the farmhouse or the fields here at Ironstone Ranch, you would have witnessed an incredible historic event. Mourners travel from miles around to these very tracks just to pay their respects to their fallen president as he traveled a 1700 mile journey back to Springfield, Illinois. This is the same route in fact that he traveled just four years earlier to Washington DC as president elect. For all you history buffs, we have the only full-scale replica of the Lincoln funeral car, casket and all. It's here on the property and it's in our museum. We normally have that open in April, but because of the expansion of our railroad, uh, I don't know any future dates, so follow us on Facebook or on stonegablesestate.com for upcoming events. So the expansion of our railroad is very exciting. You look off to the left hand side here, you'll see some trees that were cut down, and you'll see some pink stakes and flags that go up through. And right about here where we're at is where the switch is going to take off. It's going to go up through and go to the lower parking lot there at the Star Barn. From there, it's going to tra 
uh, make a great turn and turn into the uh, new station that we're going to build. Then it's going to loop around, come down through the tracks and line up with the tracks that we're currently on. Uh, and we're going to go right through the engine house that we're heading back to right now. Where you guys uh, boarded down there at Ironstone, we're actually going to put in a turntable. So a lot of future projects here. All in all, we're going to add about uh, two and a half miles of track. So we're excited to get all those projects going. And uh, the first leg is going to be this, this switch that I told you about. You can actually see they're starting to lay some stone up there off of the uh, road right now. Off to the right hand side of the line of travel, you'll see this big red covered bridge. If you come through the light show tonight, that's the bridge you'll be coming through. It's the Herbill covered bridge, originally from Ross, Pennsylvania. It was built in 1844, and it cost $1,700. Now this is only half of the bridge, believe it or not. The original span was 178 feet. It's a dual span burr arch covered bridge. This first half is fully restored. The limestone pilings and all came from the original site. The second half we have is storage and it's going to be used in the expansion of our railroad. So when you experience the train ride, you'll actually go through an original covered bridge. So we're excited to be able to use the second half in the expansion of our railroad. We just passed the Belmont Station, and folks, if you're following us, you probably know about the Belmont Barn. It's one of the first barns that we took down here in Lancaster County. If you look through the woods here, you'll see a little clearing on the other side of the woods. That's where the Belmont Barns are going to be rebuilt. The Belmont Barn contains the main barn, the carriage house, a tobacco barn, and a replica of the original brick farmhouse. It's going to serve as a bed and breakfast for our guests to stay. If you thought the Star Barn was big at 26,000 square feet, well, wait till you see the barns of Belmont. They're going to be 80,000 square feet, four stories in all, and two of the first floors are going to house the National Christmas Center. So currently, we have the National Christmas Center off-site uh, at, at a building, and we have about 18,000 square feet set up now. But when it comes here to the barns of Belmont at Stone Gables Estate, it's going to cover 40,000 square feet. 10,000 square feet we're going to dedicate to model railroading for all your model railroading people. The other two floors are going to be used for dining and special events. All these structures were doomed to be destroyed for space for modern convenience stores. We were able to save these Lancaster County treasures and in preserving their history, we are taking, renewing, restoring, repurposing, and then sharing them back with the world. So we're very excited to get those projects started. We're very excited to get the National Christmas Center here on site. Uh, it's going to be a few years out, but uh, we're anxious to get it started and be able to share that with you. So follow up our progress online, and uh, we're anxious to get it here. The engineer is slowing down here because we're about to enter our engine house. So our engine house is an 1860 style engine house. It's over 300 feet long and it houses all our cars and our engine whenever it's not in use. So we perform maintenance throughout the year. We have a big one coming up here next week uh, that we have to work on the engine. So this is the space that we do it in. Over the holidays, though, Santa Claus wanted some extra space, and we were much obliged to help him out here at Stone Gables Estates. So we lent him the engine house, and he sent his elves down, and they put all these decorations and lights up for us. The rear car, you're entering the engine house now. So get your cameras ready and check out all the lights that the elves put together.
safely parked. You're welcome to uh, move about the car. Okay. Uh, guys, as part of our unexpected train ride, we're currently in the engine shed and they have it decorated for Christmas. Let's go check this out. train cars that were in are an exact replica of those that were used in the 1800s, 1860s to be exact. Very ornately designed. Let's go find our seat for the return. as we get back here to the Herb Mill Covered Bridge off to the right. If you look up through the woods, you'll see the Star Bar. Up through the woods, you'll see the cupola and the big star. This is about the best view once we get here to the crossing uh, that you'll be able to see of the Star Bar here on these early tracks. Once we do the expansion of the railroad, we'll get a lot closer. You'll get to see, see it a lot closer. The store barn was originally off Route 283, so if you get from around that area, you probably recognize the store barn. Uh, back in 1970, when they put 283 in, it actually divided the farm. That's why the four-lane highway was so close to the barn, it actually cut the farm in half. It was originally built by John Motter back in 1877. Tells a lot of the backstory, and uh, if you have any interest in that, I'm a carpenter by trade, and I just found the whole documentary very interesting to see what they did back in 1877 with hand tools, and then today, our craftsmen of today to be able to take that barn down piece by piece to bring it here, to rebuild it, to repurpose it, to bring it new life is just an amazing feat. 
If you get a chance to see the Star Barn, I would highly recommend getting the DVD and watching the backstory ahead of time. This is the last evening for our Christmas drive through. If you haven't done that yet and want to take part in that, that starts at 5 o'clock. It's a three mile drive through the property. We have three quarters of a million lights this year on display. And there are storyboards along the way telling the true meaning of Christmas. If you get a chance, come out this will be your last chance to see the Christmas drive through. February 14th, we have our Valentine's Day dinner at the Star Barn. So if you're looking for a special gift for your loved one, check that out. February 14th, the Valentine's Day dinner at the Star Barn. So on behalf of myself and everyone here at Stone Gables Estates, I want to thank everyone for coming out. Here at Stone Gables Estates, we believe we have events with a purpose. And with your ticket sale today, it helps in our mission to give 100% of our net profit to Brittany's Hope. Brittany's Hope aids children worldwide in adoptions, finding children the love of a mother. And a father is one of their greatest gifts. And I'm very proud to be part of that mission. So with your ticket sale today.